welcome back to George Glove Relays. Man, what have I got myself into? <clears throat> anyway, this turned into a really, really cool project. I'll put a picture up of what this glove, um, well, you'll see it in the end too, but what I had to go by. I had never seen um, a web like this. I had to make this piece here. I had just this, and I didn't know what the heck, you know, and I <clears throat> pulled it all out. And I gotta be kind of gentle with this, so I'll just kind of put it over here. But um, somehow it goes up in here into the web and um, ties it all down. It's pretty straightforward um, doing it, but it was weird. You know, you could see in the picture there was some material. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't think it's plastic because it would break, you know, and it's gotta bend. Um, if it's rubber, I wasn't gonna replace it because you'd have to find something magically because you got to run lace through here uh, to fit. So my logic, just you know, which you know, not very smart, I'm sure, just made the piece. I just used a coat hanger as my thick. It was a little bit thinner and just kind of worked this around. I'm gonna have to pull it back out and clean it up and dye it. Uh, but you know, it works pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty tickled. Then I can cut it to length. So, uh, but then the inside. Really wasn't going to do this, and I was kind of working here, and I'd taken it all apart. And the guy, you know, this is just his, his dad played catch with, caught with him, and, you know, it's a really, really old glove. Um, e. Elston uh, Howard autograph. Had to look it up. It's a BP45, I believe. It's hard to read, but there's a lot of people with the you know, same glove, different name, with the same model number. You don't see that very often. Usually they change everything. So, anyway, so I was taking it apart and <clears throat> saw this big crease. And I, you know, don't really worry about them too many times because they're so old. But I um, started taking it apart. And, of course, there's just all this junk back here. So I'm going to clean all this up and condition it all back here and put some extra padding because you saw how bad this is. This is why it started creasing. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to leave the original. But this was was what's hitting right here so it started making a def, you know a deformity so of course i'm just gonna remove that add some extra padding in here and um he's just gonna use it mostly sit on the shelf maybe play catch with his grandkid he just wants to go back to uh being able to use it but anyway turned into a bigger project than i wanted you can see the original leather was a gorgeous glove at one time um you know uh, just the way it is they just over time they get old and abused so i might even go diet <clears throat> we'll see sorry for the long video but this is kind of a, a deep one but we'll see how it comes out got the elston howard all done made my little leather part here i think it really came out pretty good i'm i'm actually impressed myself how well it came out put the part all back together um, looks just like the picture so um, get this back to the uh, owner also remove that bad area and you can almost feel how this is just already relaxed you may always see it because it's just you know 50 years old 60 maybe but it's no longer that big old nasty crease and only gonna get worse now if you keep a ball in it or play catch it'll begin to just kind of relax and go away. So I'm really, you know, happy how that this came out. I'll be interested to see what the customer thinks, interested what you guys think too. But um, an interesting pocket from the big bad days of the 40s and 50s, I guess. Not 100% sure, but like I said, I've never seen this before. But I never pretend to see every glove. I, I, I still get gloves like this that I've never seen before and do my best to bring them back. So. All right, get this done and get it shipped out and uh, see what he thinks.